Hey guys, I just wanted to show you real quick how I edit my workout videos into a mashup um, every day and how you can do this if you want to um, and only spend about 10 to 15 minutes on it per day. So if this is uh, something that you don't have time for, it's absolutely not necessary to grow your social media presence, but I personally have found that I enjoy um, putting videos on social media. Uh, I feel like they get a lot of traction from Facebook and I also enjoy having a video record of my workouts so that's why I do it but if you have the bare minimum amount of time to work your business I would not recommend doing this but if you have a little extra time it's uh, something fun to give people a different view into what they can expect from our workouts number one and also from you as their coach so here goes um, first thing I do is every day when I work out I set up my iPhone um, on a tripod or I lean it against the wall or something and I videotape my workout, the whole workout, all 30 minutes. And um, and then at the end, once we're done, so I'll end up with about a 30 minute segment on my phone. And then at the end, Kevin and I will do like a one minute recap just to kind of talk about what our workout was like. Um, if you guys wanna see what I'm talking about, then uh, head over to my YouTube and you can see tons of those examples. Okay, but this is how I make those. First things first is I come to my phone and the first thing I do is I open up my perfect video app. All right, and let me get out of here because I was just in here. All right, normally it would be blank and what I would do is I would hit the plus sign at the top I would name this video 21 day fix day eight, hit done. I'm gonna open up the files, videos, and I go to the most recent videos. So there's the 30 minute segment, and then the quick recap, hit done. Now the settings are opening for this project. I do two things. One, I always change the transition time to half a second. It just makes the video flow better, in my opinion. So I hit done, and then lately I've been adding a custom watermark to my videos. This is again, extra, just not necessary, but since I have the logos, I figure I might as well use them. So I click on the add image button, I go to my favorites, scroll up to the logos, pick the white one, which is why you can't see it, and then I resize it down, it doesn't have to be exact, and I put it in the bottom corner, okay? Hit done and done. All right, so now you can see the duration of my video is 30 minutes and change and I have two segments. Um, this perfect video app is amazing. You just have to play around with it enough to get used to it, but um, it does amazing things. So the first thing I always do, I come to the recap segment and I click on it once to open it up and edit it. I click on speed and I increase it to 1.25. Hit the check mark. Next thing I do is I hit trim and I cut out any getting situated discussion that we might be having like today. Okay, usually I can see I smile and then I say, hey guys, we just finished yada yada yada. Okay, um, for whatever reason when I'm recording this video for you guys, I can't play the sound on my phone so you're not going to be able, normally what I would do is I would listen to it to make sure it sounded okay and if I did anything weird, stumbled over my words or whatever, I might cut out that segment. But in general, I trim it down until you can see we're going to get started. And uh, if you played it, you would hear me saying, hey guys, we just finished. Da -da -da -da. You do the same thing on the other end just by holding it down and dragging it. If you want to trim it very in very, very small chunks, you hit these little minus a tenth of a second buttons. All right, and then I hit the check mark at the top to say I'm done. Done. All right, now that segment is totally done, so I'm just going to leave it there at the end. Most of the work happens on the 30-minute um, workout segment. You basically want to chop it up into a quick um, demonstration of each move. Okay, so depending on the workout, there might be, I don't know, 10 segments, um, or there might only be four or five. So, um, in this case, what I always do is I open it up first, one click, and I go to speed, and I increase it to 1.5 speed. Um, typically this is fast enough not to distort the moves 
but fast enough so that you, the viewers don't get bored. Sometimes um, editing this larger segment can take a minute. That's why you see that circling thing at the top. So just give it a minute and uh, it will sort itself out. Okay, so now you're done. Next thing I always do is I duplicate this segment by pushing the green button and then selecting duplicate. That way, uh, when I go to edit the next segment, I don't have to go find the file on my phone, upload it, increase the speed. It takes out a couple steps, okay? So the first thing I do is I come here and I open up my segment. I hit trim. And what I do is I always trim it down to include the warm-up and the first two moves. So whatever those are, this is total body cardio fix today. So I just zoom through it. All right, surrenders and then those shuffle things. Okay. And then I hit the check mark. And done. So now I have like a four-minute segment. And out of that four minute segment, I'm going to chop this up into the warm up, surrenders, and the shuffles. So I'm going to hit this duplicate button two more times. All right, and you know I've still got my big one over here, but I'm just going to leave that as a saved file for now. All right, so I come back to the beginning, and in this segment, I want to display only the warm up. So I hit trim again. I basically just trim it down to about as small as it'll go, um, somewhere around 10 to 15 seconds and hit play just to see how it looks. Running in place. It's a lot of running in place. And then some jumping jacks. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the check mark. I'm actually gonna trim this down a little bit more because that was a lot of running. So I'm just gonna trim it down to about nine seconds because, you know, running's not that exciting. Okay. Hit the check again, hit done, and that one is done. Come over here, and I do the same thing, except this one I want to cut out just the surrenders. So I go through all the warm up. All right, and then we get ready for surrenders. Okay, trim that down. Press play, see how it looks. Again, I, normally I would be able to hear the sound as well, um, but on this case I can't because I'm recording, but that's good. That's about four times through. Perfect. Done. Next one, those shuffle things. Again, zoom all the way through the stuff you don't want. Get to the shuffles. Oops, I'm going to back that up just a little bit. And press play to see how it looks. You look pretty happy, so I'm just going to trim it down to 13 seconds. See again how it looks. One, two, three, four, five. That's plenty. So I'm going to trim it just a little bit and get that last little shuffle off there. Done. Okay, so that's done. All right, so you get the idea. Um, I do that for each series of moves in the workout. And so for the rest of this recording, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you that. I'm not going to narrate it um, so that you can see what I do, but see how long it actually takes. Okay? So again, duplicate just to save it off. Come over here and I trim out all those moves we just did. Whoops. Shuffles. Next up is the wood chop and the skiers. More wood chops, more skiers. Duplicate that one one time, right? Because it's just two moves now. Go back here and I get my wood chop. Go ahead and push play. And we're just going to trim that right down to, let's say, 15 seconds. Then I'm going to trim it again. See what this looks like. All right, so I might want to trim out, have it end up with me up at the top. There we go. Done. 
This one is the skiers. Alright, let's see. See if there's any more I want to trim out before we just call it good. Yeah. Maybe where I looked at the camera. Okay. Alright, next one. Duplicate. Cut out everything we've done already. Oh yeah, these things running, whatever they are, those awful knee things. Duplicate. Okay. And then we're going to do the knees. I like this side best because you can really see what's going on. All right. And then I think we just have one more segment, so I'm going to duplicate that just in case. Trim. I think we come down on the floor. Yep. Oh, frog crunch is great. Frog crunches and abs. I don't usually do the cool down just because it makes it long. Okay, so those are the last two segments I have. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this by clicking the red X. You see my total movie went down to nine minutes, so as soon as I trim these down, it'll be closer to three or four minutes. All right, so trim. Frog crunches. Done. Okay, so now the total movie is 233. That's great. You know, the closer you can keep it to three minutes, the better. So the next thing I would do is I would literally come over here and play the whole thing. Um, if I had sound, I would play it. I would literally just play it like this so I could hear if there was any weird transitions. But since I can't, then I'm just going to zip through it and make sure that everything is covered. Looks good to me, guys. All right, so then I hit save. I save it to my phone as an HD. It exports the video. And then literally what I would do is I would take that mashup, I would put it on my computer and upload it to YouTube. Um, I usually put the files in a folder on my Google Drive so that Kevin can um, publish them to my fitness page. Uh, he schedules those in advance so that they post automatically once a day. Um, and then uh, that's it. I would go ahead and delete the big 30 minute video from my phone to save space and delete all the other videos as well. And I'm good to go. Sorry about that. And uh, that's basically it guys. While this exports, um, it takes a minute. But if you have any questions, um, please let me know. The basis I wanted to show you here is that it's super simple to create a nice professional looking workout video and uh, show people what these workouts are like. Um, and also talk to them in the sense of you being their coach, like at the end of your video. Um, it's not complicated, and it's just practicing with this technology. Again, if you have the, um, I'll just show you what this looks like. If you have the time, I recommend doing this because it, it's great to show video to um, your clientele. But if you don't have time, don't worry about it. Okay, so what I would literally do next is I would 
select the mashup and I would airdrop it to my Mac. Okay, it's sending. It's faster than doing it through a cable. And once it's done, done, then I click done, and then I actually go ahead and select these other two, and I delete them. And I don't know if you guys have ever run out of space on your phone, but I do all the time, so I usually go to recently deleted, select all, delete all, and delete. Okay, that keeps my phone space clear. Anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, try it out and see how it goes. I'll see you later. Bye.